everyone. My name is Maria Miranda, and uh, I thought I would do the daily devotion today. I am doing a devotion in the Bible app that you can find. It's called Seeking Wisdom. It's a three-day plan, and uh, I'm on day three. So I'll just get, st get started. Double lanes at a fast food drive through That pretty much sums up our obsession. We want it. And we want it, it turns out to be everything and immediately. Yet in contrast, have you ever noticed that nature never rushes? Growing grass, trees reaching for the sky, birds nesting in their branches. They never seem to rush, but yet they each get done. They each seem to get things done. Uh, one day on a hill on the shore of the Sea of Galilee, the crowd gathered to hear Jesus share his thoughts on how to live a life dedicated to pleasing God, a life lived to glorify God and enjoying him forever, a life not spent rushing, a life not spent shrouded in anxiety and shame. This meditation from the sixth chapter of Matthew will take you back to that sermon, the Sermon on the Mount where you can meditate in the hope of Jesus' cure for anxiety. Resting in an imaginative contemplation for a moment. Close your eyes. Now, imagine again being in his creation, sitting amongst the flowers and the birds of the field. What anxious thoughts do you feel? Imagine them approaching you as a breeze in the tall grass. Don't run away from the approaching breeze. You will only strengthen it. See it coming, approaching. Feel it wash over you, then past you. And then run your fingers through the grass as you listen to the birds of his creation. The flowers are still there. The birds are still singing. And you are still in his care. Be present in the field. Present with God. As you pause here, let your hands and fingers reach out to touch what you are wearing, something soft, something comforting. Be reminded in this moment that God's care is available now and here. Pray now that you remember to stop worrying or being anxious, perpetually uneasy and distracted about your life. God cares for you and provides for you more than anything else in his creation. And besides, Worrying won't add an hour to the length of your life. Now the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and forever will be. Amen. Today you have the opportunity to be cared for, expect anxiety, anticipate it approaching, and ex expect it to subside, leaving you whole and present. It has come before it has passed before. God has been there before. He is here now and he will be here again. So when you are ready, step into your day and be mindful of the thoughts of the moments to be cared for by God. I just want to thank you all for doing this devotion with me today. And, and I hope that you're reminded that we all have anxiety and we all have things that we're, we're worried about, but if we can just take a moment to pause and meditate on his presence and um, his peace, you know, we'll find that that anxiety, that the stuff that we worry about, it does come to pass. Embrace the Lord, and I hope you all have a great day.